Hello, this is Valerie again for the last of the video blog series about Sustainability Week. Um, we're all really happy with how Sustainability Week turn turned out. We're also really burnt out after the week, but um, we all think it was successful and we all think that um, it was a great experience for all of us to participate in. Um, it, if I were to say one thing that made the week happen, it would have been the um, like teamwork. And as, as cheesy as that sounds, it's really not just our team, but the, the team, like the bigger team, like everyone who actually had a part in Sustainability Week. So it's the people who um, agreed to speak and be part of our panels or give tours of the Arboretum. Um, it's people who helped us book out sound equipment and um, booked venues. It's the people who um, gave us money so that we could run all these events. Um, it's the volunteers who came in um, like two weeks before the event who said, yeah, I'll sit at a table and tell people about what's happening in Sustainability Week for six hours in a day, which is awesome because we couldn't, the Sustainability Week planning team couldn't do both the table and run the events. And so it's all those people who aren't necessarily directly, um, that like aren't gaining in any way from Sustainability Week directly, but who still put in their time and effort to uh, be part of it, which is awesome. Um, the next thing would be to all of the people who are part of the Sustainability Planning Committee. A lot of them are people who are also involved in a lot of other stuff that's happening throughout uh, Guelph, as well, not to mention that on top of their schoolwork and the amount of time and energy that they put in um, and the amount of sleep they lost over trying to juggle both of them um, was made, what made Sustainability Week happen. And the, uh, the whole team is really happy that we all were there for each other to make it work out. Um, it was a lot of fun. Um, we got to interact with a lot of people who weren't necessarily part of the environmental sphere of influence at Guelph already, which is what our target audience was. Like, we're really happy if you already care about the environment and you come out to some of our events, but we're really hoping to target people who um, don't already care and don't already have a stake in environmental efforts. Um, and we got to have a lot of conversations with those people, so I consider it a success. If we'd only had one conversation with one person, I would have considered it a success, but we had many more than one, which is great. Um, I also like to thank the bands that came out to uh, play some awesome music for us. Um, it it's sometimes climate change can be a very daunting and horrible big doing gloom concept and to have um, a band come out and uh, just have a fun evening and uh, to cap off the week of depressingness um, that was great um, yeah so we're all really happy that we were part of it we're all really happy that it happened we're happy that it's done so we can figure out what's going on for now um, but we can probably learn a lot and um, we'll be taking out of this elsewhere hopefully if we get through exams um, but thank you very much for watching these videos and I hope that you had a chance to participate in some of the Sustainability Week stuff this year. If you didn't, um, stick around next year. I'm sure the team will have something awesome, if not more awesome than this week's uh, stuff. Um, and have a good spring because it's almost here.